was four or five and I asked God to be my leader, but when I was like, when I was seven or something, I um, thought that I haven't fully connected or bonded with God. And I've heard that baptism is the right thing to do. And I think that's what I want to do. To save us from our sins. And if he didn't, then our sins will never be forgiven and no one would go to heaven. Yup. Because I'm asking God to be my leader for the rest of my life. One time I wanted to um, run away and um, steal something and, um, and then I just felt my heart saying, don't do it, don't do it. And I thought that was God talking and I almost did it but then that stopped me and I didn't do it. Everyone follow God for the rest of your life. And he will lead you in the right path. Are you excited? The day's finally come. You've been asking to do this for a while, right? Okay. I couldn't be more proud of you and hearing that you're not stealing stuff. Nice work. <laughs> it's a good job. So because you've confessed that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, and because you said it publicly, just like Jesus did. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm just going to pray for Zane as he gets out. Uh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you for Zane. I thank you for the heart that you've given him. And God, as I was thinking about his baptism today, uh, just your word was on my heart. Be strong and courageous, for the Lord will be with you wherever you go. And Father, just pray that over him, that he would be strong, that he would be bold, that he would be fearless, because he knows that the God who created the heavens and the earth, it resides within him, and he can do all things through Christ. So Father, I pray that you would help him to grow in love for you, and just incredible love for others, that they would know Zane, and then they get to see Jesus a lot more because of what you're doing in his life. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.